welcome guys to this lecture and in this lecture and in this lecture we will add a pipe to our display and we'll just run our game for our, the first time so where we'll add this pipe in the display will be after this done where we have here done that is, it should be inside our main loop so we'll check after this before this uh, collision maybe after this handling this event we'll say if not pause that means if the game is not paused and similar let's say or frame clock percentage m second to frame and just give a millisecond here that would be obviously a pipe here dot add interval so if you get confusion about this add interval just uh, let me suggest you go back here in this pipe peer and just see here what this add interval really was so this add interval we have given here a 3000 so this is the add interval and the add interval really was the value uh, that is basically the interval between the adding the new pipes in the millisecond so this was the add interval so we have said here something so let me go here i can say so if the frame clock that will be zero at first and increment accordingly it is basically it is this display update so we'll say that is the percentage to get the modulus and this milliframe per second and just give this add interval because this is the basically interval adding between the mu pipes in the millisecond so if it happens if it is not pause and if this is the condition or if it is not pause so one of these can be true and if one of this is true so you can just directly also remove this all of these and just write here if not paused too so it is always a good practice so to put this frame clock because in the case of a pause too you can just have to handle some of these events so in this case if it is not pause what we're gonna have is just create me a new variable that will be calling this pipe peer class and it will just instantiate our pipe peer object that is pp and when we instantiate we have to just give some variable here that is a pipe body image and pipe end image so that would be like image and just give a pipe in here and similarly just call images again and now you give pipe body and these are the dictionary basically that were stored is when you load this image here this was pipe body and pipe end so we have passed here a pipe body and pipe end in this pp and we have created the instances of a pipe here now what we're gonna do is now just append this pipe in this dq basically it is a queue same like a queue so just append it here and it will append this pp so we have created our pipe peer images uh, and creating the instances of the pipe here now next thing what we're gonna do is just come to this position after this collision check now we'll check the collision after we hit this pipe so after we finished here handling that pipe ears now what we're gonna do is we come to hit this position and we'll check if while the pipes that we created and not pipes pipes basically and is visible that means if the non is visible if it is visible that means we'll see here if not pipes are visible then we just do is pop that is pop left we have this pop left it is usually used for the dq purpose so you can just go to ideally and you can just click here a f1 to see the documentation and let me go to this module and inside this collection you have here a DQ you can go to this DQ and you can see here that is a pop left from here so it's a pop left and it will remove and retain an element from the left side of a DQ 
so this is the basically removing and returning the element of this left side of a dq and it is no any different from this pop function and similarly what you're gonna do after this pop is we'll check now for p in pipes so for p in pipes what you're gonna do is just update first and just call it as update and similarly the next thing you're gonna do is just bleed because we haven't bleed this pipe now so we have to bleed the display surface dot bleed blit bleed and what you're gonna bleed obviously the image of the pipe and the rectangle here p dot city so after that what you're gonna do is you have update here but update and just frame clock should be increased with one and you just quit and you have this main calling automatically if you run from here so that means we have created now all of the game so we can run it now and see how this flappy game works so we have completed our code but we are left with something that is score purpose so uh, after that we can um, complete our this section but before that we just want to just play this button for now so let me show you before running just clear this one that is a pause which has manually so just let me cut it first and just play it once again so what is look like is we don't have basically this all that is what we say pipe here because we haven't bleed here the pipe but we can handle the event because we have a event handler and when you click in this screen it is going to climb and it is going to uh, shrink too so this was the event handler so let's just paste that before code that we just cut it so this was the basically the one that was uh, adding this pipe basically so when you just add this pipe what is going to happen is you are going to get a game here so this is the game so you can work with this all this number so let me go back to this position and you can see in this board class we have their height and width is 32 what if i say it should be okay 50 so let me say it is, should be 50 so run it again what happens is the width of this basically what you say of this gap between basically width or a gap between these two pipes increases so this makes really easy to play the game so just to make as small as is possible so standard would be 32 and if you make here 15 that would be the challenging game so let me see okay this is really a challenging game so i expect so let's make 32 that's the average height and width or a gap between this is a uh, pipe and this would be good to play and you can also check this shrink speed climb speed and duration so if you set this duration if i just make it a small okay three so what it happens really let's see so it <laughs> doesn't really climb so it will just climb after really up really after really that is 0 0.003 second so let me say 333.3 that would be three second normally and let me see in this uh, basically in this climb speed if i just put here something that is okay 30 and just play it again you could see that the weight doesn't have anything that is that was just shrinking so this climb speed was basically the pixel in millisecond that the ball ascends in one second so just uh, keep it in average that would be something that is 0 0.3 so these are the point that are standard for the flappy bird so if you just accidentally change so roll back to this standard number so basically what you can change in here is the this height piece height and add interval this can be really changed and you can work with it so what we left off is to show the score to the player which will be covered in the next lecture so see you there